Well, hey there, welcome back here to another episode on Hall Family Farms. So excited to have you with me. This is the fourth video I'm doing in a series I call The Crack Key Method of Hydroponics Growing, developed by Dr. Bernard Crack Key at the University of Hawaii. And in this episode, we're going to take this container that I picked up at my local Dollar General store, as well as this pool noodle that I got for $1 and the strawberry plants that I had been growing in my strawberry bed out in the garden. We're gonna see if we can grow these hydroponically using the crack key method. Now, this particular variety of strawberry is called Ozark Beauty. It's an ever-bearing variety of strawberry. So we're gonna see how this variety does using this particular method. So the first thing we need to do is drill some holes in this container. I'm going to try to fit in six and if we find we can fit more we'll try to do that as well to maximize our space but I think I'm going to start with six. I'm going to put three on this side and three on this side and we're going to use this uh, inch and three-fourths hole saw bit that I have here and we're going to make sure we've got it in the reverse mode because we don't want to tear out as we drill through this plastic. Um, and that's what will happen if you have it going forward. And that's the reason why we want it in reverse, because if you have it in the forward motion, the teeth are gonna grab into this plastic and just rip it all up. And so we want a nice smooth cut, and so we're gonna put this into the reverse mode. All right, now that I've got it in the reverse mode, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and cut these holes here. Okay, now that I have the holes drilled in the lid, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down, rinse this off camera, get all of these plastic shavings out of our container. So I'll be right back. All right, now that I have my container nice and clean, I'm gonna remove the lid, and you'll see that I have some water that I've left in here. So I put some clean water in the container so that we can start adding the nutrients and getting those nutrients to start to dissolve. So let's start with our first nutrient here. And our first nutrient that we're going to use is the Master Blend 41838 tomato and vegetable formula. So one teaspoon per gallon is what we're looking at here. Two, three, four, five. Okay, let's set that aside. Our next ingredient is Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate. Now we don't need quite as much of the Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate. So what I'm going to add here to our blend of nutrients is one fourth teaspoon. And I'm gonna add 
four of these to this five gallon container. There's one, two, three, four. All right, the last thing we're gonna add to our nutrients here is calcium nitrate, and this is the 15.500, and we're gonna add this to our container at a rate of one teaspoon per gallon. Again, this is a five gallon container. One. Now I'm going to just take this paint stirrer and just kind of work it around in the water to help the nutrients dissolve in the water. That looks pretty good. Alright, so I'm going to let that continue to dissolve in the container while we prepare the lid for our strawberry plants. Okay, so the next step is for me to cut my noodle into a donut. And we're gonna need six of these. And I'm cutting it about, uh, about an inch to an inch and a half. There's one. Two. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have our six noodle donuts. So now, in order to get these strawberries into the noodle, we're going to have to cut it. That way, we can get that plant to set right inside here. I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these. If you've seen the other videos that I've done, I've had to cut a wedge, about a half inch wedge, out of each donut in order for the donut to fit in the holes. Okay, so I've got them all cut. Now I just need to cut about a half inch wedge out. We're gonna keep that wedge in case we need it. We had a little bit of a rain shower, folks, so I had to kind of stop in the middle of this project. As you can see, we've got some rain here on the lid. But we're gonna go ahead and proceed with our project here. And so what I'm going to do is take our strawberry, got my noodle here, I'm going to fasten it around this plant, just like so. And I don't think I'm going to need a wedge for this one, so I'm going to put these roots right down through the hole here. Try to get this donut about halfway into the hole, if I can. Alright, that looks pretty good actually. Alright, let's go with our next strawberry plant here. All right, so I'm going to take my next strawberry plant, stick it in inside the noodle, make sure all of the roots are facing downward. Stick this noodle about halfway in. 
and that looks pretty good there. Okay, we'll take the next one. I'm gonna have to cut a, again about a half inch out of our noodle. Wrap the plant inside there. Now this one, I may need to add the wedge back in. So let's let's see. There we go. That should hold that snug. All right, we'll feed the roots through the hole. And insert the noodle. Okay. It's just a matter of repeating this process. That one looks pretty good. Don't think we're going to need the wedge. Okay. And I'm just inserting this crown inside the noodle, feeding the roots down through the hole, and then inserting the noodle so it's about halfway in the hole. There we go. That looks good. Now this one's a little bit of smaller plant, so I'm going to use the wedge here to wedge that in so we have a nice snug fit. We'll get these roots down in the hole. Well, maybe I don't need the wedge. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to need it. Looks like it's going to be tight enough the way it is. All right, there we have it. Here are our strawberries. There are the roots all dangling down now. It's just a matter of filling up the water in the container. So let me go do that. All right, now it's just a matter of filling our five gallon container up with water and mixing our solution. So let's remove our lid here. Just use the shower setting on our garden nozzle here to kind of stir those nutrients up and blend them in with the water. Okay, that's about as full as we want because we want to leave a little bit of an air pocket here so that those air roots can form. So let's set it down into our container. Now I'm going to lift it up and see if we have water dripping off all the roots. And it looks like we do. So I'm going to go ahead and seal this container.
Okay, folks, that about wraps it up for this episode here on Hall Family Farms. We have our strawberries, green peppers, and our purple cabbage here lined up. So please, if you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up and come back and look for updates as we go along. I'm just gonna bring you in for a little sneak peek so you can see what these roots are looking like. All right, let's get a quick update on these California Wonder green bell pepper plants. Let's take a look at the root development. The tops look really good. Oh wow, look at those roots. That's exactly what you're gonna see if you do the crack key method. You'll notice, let's see if I can hold this with one hand. You see these new roots, these white ones up here, those are the air roots. These longer roots are the ones that are going down into the water nutrient solution and drawing that up. Isn't that just beautiful? All right. Thanks for watching, folks. And until the next time, please be safe out there. Take care, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.